Hey there, Vikant here. Hi there, Akshay here. And today we shall be discussing. So Akshay, how were your experiences in Aachen? Aachen is really a great city. It may not be the biggest city in Germany, but it has a lot of student population, and that's a plus point about city. And also, it's geographical location, so it's situated. uh in the tri section point of belgium netherlands and germany so on weekends you know you can really go on to anywhere small places around and one additional point is that you also have your semester pass by which you can travel whole of the states of nrv so that's a plus point that is perfect exactly what my thoughts about aachen were but now let's get into the more academic part tell me something about the simulation science co- course give me a overview So simulation science is a broad area. It's basically an interdisciplinary course combining departments com- of computer science, mathematics, physics and applied uh, mechanics and uh, during uh, your course of studies of master studies on simulation science you basically take a uh, few mandatory courses in your first semester which constitutes of numerical methods, uh, data analysis, parallel and high performance computing and also applications area of fem uh, related subjects and in your second semester you basically have to choose between an engineering track and a physics track so uh, yeah i know this doesn't sound uh, exactly with other departments but in simulation science you basically go into either of uh, either into physics direction or or engineering direction so when you go into engineering direction it means you basically are are a simulation engineer and when you go into physics direction so it basically means that you are uh, into physics applying simulation techniques so since uh, my background is also physics so i took a physics track which consists of two courses and uh, other courses are common for all the students so first two semester consists of mandatory courses and in third semester you have the option to take electives and trust me a lot of electives So this one of the most important factor about simulation science is that you are literally free to choose any electives that you want and structure your profile accordingly. So uh, you nearly have to do like 35 to 40 credits of electives in your span of 2 years which means that simulation science really gives you a lot of flexibility. Man that sounds awesome but that sounds like a lot of work. How much is the workload? So if you want to opt for simulation science you should be serious about your studies. So talking about workload uh I mean in the first two semesters you literally have assignments from two to three subjects per week and you have to uh get qualify at least 50% of the marks to to write your final exam. So you should take the assignment part really seriously. So there is one particular course called quantum mechanics in your first semester which is compulsory for all whether you come from mechanical physics or any other department if you are from physics it's fine to go with that course but a few of the students from mechanical department or other department really find it difficult in their first semester so yes there are few courses which you don't want to do uh, which does not uh, suit your profile but you have to do because these are mandatory courses so that's not a very fascinating thing but yes you have to do it Yeah, I can feel the pain of many mechanical students already. <laughs> But uh, so, given that there are so many options to decide on your course and structure on your course and what you can do with what electives, what did you personally do? How did you structure your course? So, I basically choose simulation sciences because I want to go into the direction of uh, computer science application. In my first two semesters, I had most of the mandatory courses. But even though I had mandatory courses, I started taking electives right from my second semester. If you want to really do it, you should take it because it may not be the case that the same elective is offered another year or in the next semester. So I started taking electives from second semester. Uh, from mandatory courses, I really got a good mathematical basis to approach ahead to my electives. And when I finally did my electives in uh, third semester, I could really imagine that my profile is really well structured for my future application. So when I was in my third semester, I took courses like uh, machine learning, uh, speech recognition, computer vision, uh, data analysis, and few of the courses related in that direction. Uh, because I later on want to work in this in this particular field. Man, that sounds hard and interesting at the same time. But how were you able to fund all of this together? 
when you talk about funding in this regard the first point is that you come you are coming to germany so that really reduces like most of your uh, most of your load talking about the funding uh, and while you are a student at the university you really have an opportunity to do a part time job called as hevi where you work on the research projects under professor uh, so in this regard i started working as a hevi in computational biomedicine department under professor andrea shupert in my second semester professor andrea shupert he uh, takes on many industrial and uh, projects from uniclinic and try to apply data analysis technique to them to find useful results so i worked there for nearly 6 months and after that i uh, i started working at i6 department informatics department uh, under the department of human life technology under professor harman ne Professor Harmane is really very famous in the field of speech recognition and natural language processing and I was working under him in the in the field of speech recognition and I also worked uh, I also took an extra lab course from the department although it was not required for uh, my particular set of courses in civil science department but I took a lab course from the department just to uh, you know put add uh, put more contents into my profile so that's how you go to structure your uh, profile actually so it's it's not that there are few bunch of courses pre assigned to you but you have to really dig into find which course uh, fits better according to your interest and according to your future expectation and then you take that courses and really work hard for it okay let's move on uh, in your opinion what type of student should be applying to the simulation science courses so talking about the prospect is students students applying for this course should be really motivated towards research since it's a basically research oriented course and uh, it also depends on your personal interest so if you are interested in fields like uh, finite element methods continuum mechanics machine learning or say advanced physics or related fields then yeah you should really opt for this course it's a great course but you should keep in mind that you also have to work a lot did uh, because of the assignments that you get or uh, nearly all the weeks and uh, also when you apply for this course make sure you have basic coding skills because that is required from your first semester onwards so yeah that's all and yeah hope to see you soon in this course thank you akshay that was really really useful thank you for being here thank you for providing all that information and i hope to see you once again in a next uh, our future video thank you thank you vikrant for inviting me to your youtube videos and yeah this was a really good experience <laughs> bye